In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Pecha Kucha style presentation using Keynote. So the concept behind Pecha Kucha is that you run 20 slides, each for 20 seconds, for a total presentation of just over 6 minutes. The beauty of this style of presentation is that it keeps you on task by auto-advancing your slides after 20 seconds. Another feature of this presentation style is that it's made up of images with little to no text at all. These images should be appropriate and engaging and draw your audience in so that it really reinforces the topic that you're talking about. This tutorial is not meant to be a tutorial on how to use Apple Keynote or all of the nuances of the Pecha Kucha style, but we'll demonstrate how to add slides, how to convert those slides to blank slides so that you can add your images, how to add those images, and then how to add the auto advance per slide. Before, we go any, before you go any further, you need to understand that Keynote is not available on the classroom computers. So if you create your Pecha Kucha presentation using Apple's Keynote, you will need to bring an Apple laptop to the classroom with you. Even the Apple computers in the classrooms rarely have Keynote loaded on them. So again, if you are going to continue forward using Keynote, you will need to bring your own laptop with you to the classroom. Pecha Kucha relies on the 20 second per slide timing. When you convert a keynote to a PowerPoint presentation, you will lose that timing. And that's an important note to remember before proceeding. So I'm going to go ahead and begin by choosing a new white presentation. My recommendation would be that you choose one of the top three styles um, or themes rather if you're going to be using Keynote because you don't want the background of your presentation to interfere with the images that you're placing. So I'm just going to choose white and click choose. And it opens up into a normal presentation style with you where you have your title slide. So the first thing I need to do is add my 20 slides. So since I already have one, I'll be adding 19 more. And I'm going to do that by clicking on the new button in the upper left hand corner of my icon bar. So just tap that button 19 times. And what you'll notice is that it added 19 slides with the title and that sort of bulleted list configuration. Well, that's fine for most PowerPoint presentations or most keynote presentations, but what we're wanting to do today is very image related. So we're going to need to change these slide types. So I want to change them to blank and that will allow me to add my images in any way that I want to add them. So what I would need to do first is select every slide. And in order to do that, I can either choose edit, select all, or I can click on the very last slide or the very first slide, scroll up, hold the shift key down, and click on the last slide. And that will select all of them. So once I have them all selected, you're just going to go under the masters list and just choose blank. This gives you a nice blank canvas where you can add anything you want. All right. So I'm going to come back up to the first slide here and you can see that there's nothing on it anymore. I don't have the bulleted lists and I don't have the titles. It's just a completely blank presentation. All right, the next thing I want to do before I add any of my images is to set those timings. Those kind of all important 20 seconds timings. And I'm going to do that by opening up my inspector. Now on my icon bar, on your machine you'll see the entire icon bar, but for recording purposes I have a smaller screen right now and so I'm not seeing everything. But all the way to the right hand side of your icon bar you should see something called inspector. Go ahead and open that one up. You're going to choose the very first icon which is your document inspector icon. And then in the second tier of navigation make sure that document is selected. Under the presentation area you want to change this from normal to self-playing. Now once you have that, you're going to choose the delay, which is how long it stays on the screen. And this is going to be 20 seconds. And I want you to change your build to zero. All right, and once you've finished that, you can go ahead and close that up. All right, so now we have our 20 second timings, and we have all of our blank slides. At this point, you may want to do a file save and save this just so that you have this as a regular template. Maybe call it Pecha Kucha template. So if you ever have to do one of these presentations for another class, you'll already have this template created. 
but I'm going to go ahead and just dive into adding my images. So now that I have my 20 second time limit figured out and I have all of my blank slides created, I'm going to go ahead and start adding my images. And I want to do this by choosing media. Now when I open my media browser, it takes me into my iPhoto area where I have all of the photos that I can use here. So if I want to use this picture, I just single click it and drag it in and I'll let it go over top of the slide. Then while I'm in here, I can rearrange it. I can drag it left and right. That little yellow bar there pops up to let me know that I've centered it. And when I get the plus sign, it lets me know that my picture is perfectly centered on the slide. Now let's click on the second slide. Um, my media browser in the photos shows me everything that is in my iPhoto. So if I have an image that is not on my iPhoto, for instance, let's say it's on my desktop, I'm just going to, this will be a little hard to see, so I'm just going to scooch over a small amount here so that you can see it. If I wanted to add this image here from my desktop, I can just drag it in as well and it adds it. So it doesn't have to already be in your iPhoto. It can be anywhere else that you want it to be that's already on your computer. So don't feel like um, it, it, everything has to be an iPhoto first because it doesn't. You can drag JPEGs, GIFs, and everything from your desktop. Alright, so now that you have everything done, just do a file and save it one more time. And now when you get into the classroom, in order to do your presentation, you'll open up Keynote and just click play. Once you click play, your 20 seconds on your very first slide starts immediately. So be ready to have your presentation going before you click play. Click play, start talking, every 20 seconds your slide will advance. And that's basically how you can do a Pecha Kucha presentation using Keynote. Good luck with your presentation.